Uh, and Dr. Bianchi, I believe you'll have a, a response to this as well. It's regarding the issue of rationing of health care. There's not a person in this room that hasn't thought as we see the, the demographics of the aging uh, you know, population in the United States um, about the notion of a day when we're going to become inverted in our economics and, and the population simply will be un, unsustainable in terms of getting the type of health care we are accustomed to right now. What are your thoughts on whether rationing of health care could possibly be on the horizon in the United States of America. And uh, to that question would be then, you know, what would, if, if you think that as there's a possibility, what would prevent it? Uh, I definitely, it's my view, I definitely think that um, a national health plan that's paid for by taxpayer dollars will inevitably lead to ration. Um, that's the way it is in Canada. It's the way it is in England. And the reason for that is because with a standard set of benefits, what happens is the uh, dollars dry up, taxpayer dollars dry up, or they become budgeted on a month to month basis. The consequence of that is that they will explain to the hospitals and the doctors that there are only so many procedures that can be done this month, so many diagnostic uh, services that can be provided this month. The patients then have to queue up for the next month or the following month for six months down the road. In some cases, uh, they can go uh, and they can die before they receive either the diagnostic service that they need or the surgical service that they need. Uh, when I was a chief financial officer from Minnesota, Canadians could afford it, could buy Blue Cross in Minnesota and come across the border to get American health care mm -hmm. routinely. Uh, they did it in the hospitals where it was part of my system. Um, I think, too, if I, just, just briefly, I think that uh, the real question is, if rationing occurs, will it occur with the senior citizens? Probably not, because they have a political constituency in Washington, D.C. Will it occur with the poor? Probably not, because they also have a political constituency in Washington, D.C. If it occurs, it will occur with all the rest of us on a national level, because it's easy, it's also easy to hide it. Well, I think there would be a ration of care. And that is because of this, this uh, principle that I think we have developed called entitlement. If you feel entitled to have LASIK surgery, and the government's going to pay for it, you're going to get it. But if you have to be more responsible in the sense that you're going to have to pay for a good portion of that, trust me, a lot of LASIK surgeries will drop. So we've got to get away from this entitlement. And we've got to take more responsibility of our own health care dollar and spend it as we see wisely to be spent. Then costs won't escalate like they are. And there may be enough money around that no one needs to be rationed. So those are just basic principles of the free market that reform has to have to be successful. Rationing is built into the House Bill, HB 3200. It's there. It's also the Senate Bill passed, okay, in a couple of ways. The Senate Bill talks specifically about nursing colleges and nurse practitioners, and we need those, of course. The reason they're augmenting that is because they know the demand for primary care physicians outstrips what we have. A few years ago, a couple of decades ago, about half of every doctor that came out of medical college went into primary care, family practice. Now it's about 2%. That's a public health emergency. Somebody said to me the other day, and I believe it to be true, that's a form of rationing. The other thing I'm a little concerned about is when I listen to the president talk, he talks a lot about elder care, uh, end of life. And that's something we have to address in this country. What can we tell our loved ones about how I want to end my life, and can we do self-directed things and, and take care of it that way? We're going to have to deal with end of life. But to me, I look at end of life, and I'd be interested in the doctor's opinion, it's maybe the last 60 days. But the White House, and Congress is looking at it like the last six years. They're really talking about senior care. And that's a, that, that's a confusion that I'm very concerned about. So rationing is baked into the bills that are there now. They're using the word end of life, but their proposals and policies are really addressing Medicare. Right, it's just a I think it's